Hey guys, good morning. Marjorie here. It's Sunday morning and I am trying to get myself in order and decent to get ready for church. Larry Ann and Rudy. So for, go for those of you guys who are wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses, um, I guess you didn't watch until the end of the vlog. <laughs> well, you could have watched too, but you just don't know. So my grandmother passed away on Friday night and I just found out, well everyone here in the US, she lives in Jamaica, we just found out last night at like 10 o'clock and I didn't take it too well, I'm still not taking it too well. I was like, am I gonna be able to go to church, you know, because I just can't seem to keep it together. But I spoke to my mother this morning to see if she was going and she was like, yeah, I have to go, you know. And I, I I contacted my praise team leader last night, well, at like one o'clock in the morning, and I apologize for messaging so, her so late, but I wanted to let her know that I, I can't sing. And my mother said that I shouldn't do that. She said I should s still sing anyway, because I'm not supposed to let anything get in the way of what I'm, I'm supposed to do for the Lord. But I'm thinking like, how can I stand in front of all those people you know i just can't seem to imagine doing that so i don't know i, I contacted my cousin who's taking it just as, everybody in the whole family is absolutely broken um so i contacted my cousin cabrina to see if she was gonna sing on the praise team and i told her that if she's gonna sing then i'll sing too but if she's not then i just I'll be useless up there like you know dear you know what I mean like I would be completely useless like I would just be holding a tissue the whole time um, or then what if I just break down in the middle of a song then what so I don't know mommy said that going to church will make you feel better and I remember specifically telling all of you guys I think it was either on Periscope or on the vlogs that every time I go to church I always I always feel be better no matter how terribly I was feeling before so I mean I don't doubt that part but but this is the singing part it's the singing part that's worrying me mm -hmm. wait till you get there if you don't feel comfortable no don't force it needless to say I won't be wearing any makeup I wish I could just wear these shades to church but I don't think that's really appropriate no, so if I'm gonna be singing I can't yeah, if you, if you, of course yeah yeah but if I'm gonna sing I guess I'll just wear my glasses if I can find them I have no idea where they are but uh, it's just it's really hard so hi Jaden Jaden has made me feel a lot better this morning obviously because he's Jaden but we're trying to get started on breakfast and just live our lives and stuff my mother said that she's not in the mood to cook I feel so badly that we, we, we weren't with her last night because it was just so late you know and we all grieve so differently I didn't know if she actually wanted company and the thing is if I were her company I would have made matters so much worse because I am a wreck death kills me inside so for me to be with her I would not be comforting her I would just make her feel even worse but I didn't go to her house or anything I called her I called my uncle I spoke to my cousin I spoke to Larik uh, I didn't speak to my cousin KJ because I don't know. I don't know how he takes this whole thing, but I guess we'll find out today. Hey, they're all deep. <laughs> That's usually the case. So this morning, my question to you is, what is hindering you and me from running the race that is set before us? What is hindering HOR from running the race that God has for us to run? It is time to lose the weight. I am not referring to Jenny Craig or Weight Watchers. You see, along the journey, you are tested in every possible way. Some tests are by the designer who is Jesus Christ himself. And some tests arise from people and circumstances. You will be tested mentally, physically, emotionally, and relationally. But may I tell you that during your most difficult moments, your true character can't 
<laughs> That's not no, true. No, no, no. Brittany's <laughs> making up stories about me, guys. <sighs> anyway, church is over. Church has been over for a little while. Um, the message was really nice. Mommy talking about my belly. They just keep talking junk about me, guys. So the message was really good, but I had to leave early because I was so hungry, with girls. Rudy ended up having to go to the corner store to get me some plantain chips and some juice. And then afterwards, there was some um, food because it's Sister Velma's birthday. So she decided to feed the whole church, which was amazing because I had me some vanilla cake with some strawberry filling and it was bangalicious. I also had some chicken and I had some juice. And that was it. Jaden's looking at me like, who are you? <laughs> he doesn't really understand that I'm his mommy because of the sunglasses. But he seems to really like them. Like he was just peering into my soul, trying to figure out where my eyes were. It was the cutest thing in the whole world. So now he's here with mommy. Mommy's eating. Sure. Jaden's trying, trying to eat to her food. food. Mm -hmm. But say um, hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> That's why he said hi to me. Yeah, yeah, he said hi to everyone. Not, well, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't people. say everyone. <laughs> yeah, to most people. So, you guys know what I said last time about having to tell that church sister, you know, hey, I, I'm. I'm, I wasn't pregnant when you asked me if I was pregnant because I didn't want her to think I was lying So today she came up to me because I'm wearing a very form-fitting outfit. It was like the only black thing I could find in my closet and So it is very obvious that I'm pregnant like anyone with eyes can see that I am with child <laughs> um, Even though I'm only nine weeks my tummy is huge so she came up to me today and she was like so that question that I asked you months ago it was fulfilled <laughs> it wasn't even a question it's a statement <laughs> and I was like yep one month later one month after you asked me boom I was pregnant <laughs> and just like ha 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 she couldn't believe it I mean I guess I guess she didn't expect me to like admit it like that but you guys know I don't really care so I thought that was so funny and she was like oh my gosh so yeah I feel good now now she knows that I'm not a liar you know like it, it yeah. didn't happen for a whole month I think some people would be upset yeah but like she told me no but look at her now yeah like you know one of the things that I pride myself in is that I don't practice lying it's not something that I do you know so when whenever someone thinks of me as a liar or I feel like someone thinks I'm lying like I get really ugh, about that I want to make sure that they know that I'm telling the truth so the plan for now is to go home and put Jaden down for a nap and I'm gonna nap with him and then we're all just gonna go to mommy's house and hang out with her cook dinner and all that stuff together because you know she's so lonely and it's not nice this is not the time when you want to not have every, anyone around it's just not a nice feeling I don't know what it's like to lose your mother and I pray to God that I don't know what that feeling is for a long time I just saw my sexual harasser again Ah, oh, that man, he's just all over. Why can't he just leave town? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so church was really emotional today. It was tough for a lot of people because I guess when you get to that age where, you know, it's common for a lot of people to lose their parents, it's really tough when you yourself lost your parent like a year or a few years ago because you know, you're looking at, they were looking at all of us crying. Every single one of us was crying at the altar because they prayed for us. And I guess that touched a lot of people and then they remembered the lot, they remembered the loss of their loved ones. So, you know, some other people were crying too. And it was just a really very, very, very emotional day. And that's why I stayed in church because the sermon was kind of funny. <laughs> it was very entertaining, <laughs> that's for sure. I enjoyed it a lot. So I, I appreciated that and then of course the food afterwards, you know, everyone always feels happy after yeah comfort food definitely So it was good. I am very glad that I went to church today So if any of you are ever going through anything and you're questioning whether or not you should go to church the answer is yes go you know like
like don't be afraid to cry in front of people like no one should be judging you if you're going through a tough time as christians we feel like we shouldn't be sad but you're allowed to the thing is you just shouldn't dwell in your sadness and going to church often makes you feel better you know it's a sense of community and it's very healthy and that's my talk for the day i took a nice nap very very nice nap <laughs> When I got home, Jada and I both slept for two hours. So we're actually on our way to mommy's house right now because it's about time. Mommy is gonna be cooking, I think. I don't know what she's, I think she said she's gonna be cooking spaghetti and meatballs. Not my absolute favorite thing in the whole world, but you know, at this point, I have no other option. <laughs> Cause we didn't cook. Look for the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Jaden, are you ready to talk? Yeah? Are you thinking about it? Yeah. Are you gonna say hi? Are you gonna say hi, Jaden? Hi, Jaden. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I tried it. Yeah. Here, go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Why is that so funny? She's saying hi to you. Hi. Mm. <laughs> excuse me. You swallowed it? You swallowed it? The greedy is disgusting. Mm. He keeps doing that. <laughs> Nasty. Mm. Look. No. Oh. oh, who's that? Is that Jaden? Is that Jaden? Everybody loves Jaden. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're just eating Daddy's face, Jaden? Oh that's just what you're gonna do? Hi! <laughs> Hi, Jaden. Hi. Hi, Jaden. Bye bye. Hi. Why are you whispering? Say hi, Jaden. <laughs> Out loud. Say, don't go hi, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. So like he's saying hi Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Jaden. Bye bye. Bye bye, Jaden too. Bye bye. Can you close the vlog, Jaden? <laughs> okay, maybe another time. Say bye bye. What's he doing? I don't know. Jaden, bye bye. Oh, okay. Good morning. Larger here. I didn't close out the vlog yesterday. I got kind of busy. So we went to mommy's house and ate dinner. She had like spaghetti and meatballs. And I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant, but the meatballs were extra salty to me. And I was kind of sad, so I didn't really eat much. <laughs> I also had some pineapples and stuff, and Rudy and mommy seemed to enjoy the dinner. But then we, we went home because Jaden was getting tired. We had to put Jaden to sleep. I had a ton of work to do, so I got started on that. I actually stayed up really late. I stayed up until after one working and I was just like, you know what, I give up. I'm just so tired. So I went to bed and as soon as Rudy and I were about, as soon as I was about to pray, Jaden decided to wake up. Like we looked at the monitor, he was standing in his bed, he's looking at me right now. And he just started hollering. I'm guessing he had another night terror. I don't know what's up with him and these night terrors. I gotta talk to his doctor about that to see how normal that is so Rudy came in Rudy was like okay well good night because he knew I was gonna fall asleep he got Jaden and, and I said you know if anything you could just take him in here because I thought that cuddling with him would work one hour later Rudy comes back with Jaden and I'm trying everything I can to get him to stop crying but I also had so much trouble keeping my eyes open I felt so badly because I kind of wanted to relieve Rudy you know and take over and put him to sleep but 
I was handling Jaden like this. Like I couldn't keep my eyes open anymore. And I said, I apologize to Rudy. Rudy took him next door and he put him to bed and Jaden went back to sleep at like 3.15. So he woke up at like one, went back to sleep at 3.15. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. But, you know, he woke up this morning after nine. I fed him his breakfast. Well, you'll find that out in tomorrow's vlog. Let me not talk about today. Another thing that happened yesterday was I spent a lot of time doing some research on flights to go to Jamaica because um, my mother said that the date that they chose for the funeral is the 4th of June. And everybody wants to leave on Friday the 3rd and come back on Sunday the 12th. And I was like, I feel like I have something to do on Friday the 3rd. But there was nothing in my calendar. So I was like, what is it? What is it? All of a sudden, Nelly, hey Nelly, she commented on the vlog saying, oh, I'm sorry for your loss, my condolences, that type of thing. And it hit me. I have her goddaughter's, I think it's her goddaughter's, photo shoot on Friday the 3rd. So I feel really bad. I have to reschedule that because I'm not going to be here. Larique's making plans to go b way before everyone like she's planning on leaving at the end of May Because she has a test to do on the 8th of June, so she's not gonna be able to stay as long Guys, let me tell you something. I was willing to spend two thousand dollars on this trip, right? Two thousand dollars. That was like my budget I went on Travelocity and stuff to see how much it would cost for the flight and hotel and of course, I'm greedy. I want to stay in a resort, all-inclusive resort. You know that costs money. It costs a lot. Like it would cost twenty-five hundred dollars for us to stay at a Holiday Inn for all ten nights, and that's a long time in ho in a hotel, which I think is kind of silly. So I cut down the time from the third of June to the seventh of June, and it came up to two thousand dollars if we were to spend that time at Grand Palladium, which is where we want to stay because you know it's in Lucy and everyone has been there except us so I think that's what we're gonna do we're not gonna stay a whole 10 days that's a long time to stay in a hotel and you know that's what's gonna happen but nothing is final of course you know I gotta work on getting Jaden's passport this week like today because it takes two weeks to come and the funeral is in less than three weeks so that's the story. I hope I caught you up on everything that happened. I'm sorry for my appearance, you know, it was a rough night. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you're, you're praying for us. Pray for our, our family's strength, you know, it's, we're going through a tough time. I, I feel a lot better, you know, I don't feel as sad as I did for the past two days, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hit with memories during this entire week and I'm just going to be sad. So please pray for me, pray for Rudy who has to comfort me, and pray for Jaden who's going to be missing a mommy because <laughs> I'm going to be spaced out thinking about stuff. Make sure that you check out all the links in the description of this video so that you're following us on social media and subscribe to us if you still haven't. I will talk to you next time. Bye! Bye.